GVP version 2.1 was released on June 30, 2014. It must be used for all verifications starting after that date. In order to inform the registry's proposed policy on limited assurance, in August of 2013, the registry convened a multi-stakeholder work group that included representatives from federal and state mandatory programs, our board of directors, verification bodies, financial auditing firms, other voluntary reporting programs, registry members, and environmental organizations. The feedback that we received from this work group and stakeholders during the public comment period at the beginning of this year informed and shaped the policy that has been adopted in GBP version 2.1. Now that you have some background and context, let's review the specific policy updates. Prior to the release of GVP version 2.1, the registry required all inventory reports, with the exception of those verified through batch verification, to be verified to a reasonable level of assurance. We have always had a provision for small emitters who emit less than 1,000 metric tons CO2e per year to have their inventory verified to a limited level of assurance through our batch verification process. With the release of GVP version 2.1 on June 30th, all members can now choose to verify to either a reasonable or a limited level of assurance. Complete, accurate, and consistent reporting remains integral to our program and an inventory that is verified to a reasonable level of assurance is still the gold standard for voluntary reporting. However, we understand that you have varying goals and uses for your organization's greenhouse gas data, so we are giving you the flexibility to choose the level of assurance, reasonable or limited, that best matches your reporting needs and objectives. The registry still requires a reasonable level of assurance for base years, inventories used to achieve climate registered silver, gold, and platinum, as well as for electric power sector delivery metrics. In addition to introducing provisions for limited assurance, GVP version 2.1 also includes a couple of updates to the verification cycle for reasonable assurance. The three-year verification cycle shown in this diagram applies only to verifications conducted to a reasonable level of assurance. Prior to GVP version 2.1, if you switch to a new verification body midway through the three-year verification cycle, you'd be required to undergo a full verification with facility visits. GVP version 2.1 allows for your new verification body to conduct a streamlined verification if certain conditions are met. The registry also used to require facility visits at the start of the second three-year verification cycle, in other words, your fourth year of verification. But we have now introduced provisions to forego facility visits in the second cycle if certain conditions are met. In the next couple of slides will review what conditions need to be met in order to streamline verification activities. If you were in the middle of a verification cycle with another verification body, your new verification body can conduct a streamlined verification if no material misstatements were detected during verification of your previous year's inventory, your verification body has access to the verification report and detailed findings for your previous year's verification, as well as for your last full verification. There have been no significant changes to your inventory or greenhouse gas management system. It has been less than three years since a full verification was performed, and your verification body does not have any other concerns that would warrant a full verification. Facilities that your verification body visited in the previous verification cycle may be exempt from site visit requirements in the second cycle if your verification body does not have concerns that warrant revisiting those facilities and there have been no significant changes to your operations, emission sources, greenhouse gas inventory management plan, 
or responsible personnel. Although keep in mind that your verification body's risk assessment findings might still necessitate visiting other facilities that they didn't visit in the first cycle. The intent of this policy is to make sure there is sufficient value in the facility visits and that your verification body does not have to go back to the same facility if no further information can be gleaned from another visit. Before we conclude, I'd like to take a moment to remind you of the benefits of verification. Once your Verify report is publicly available through the registry, we'll provide you with the Climate Registered logo and a press release template for your use in communicating your major achievement. You'll have confidence in your third-party verified data and feel good about sharing it with your management and stakeholders. You'll also feel confident about using your verified numbers in sustainability reporting and press releases. As many of you know, putting together a greenhouse gas inventory can be a complex process. Verification allows you to find any errors early in the process before you publish your data and use it to make decisions or, um, and carry over errors into subsequent years. Although your verifier has to maintain their independence and they can't give you consulting advice, oftentimes they'll identify areas where your inventory could be improved. Finally, when you know your data and baseline are accurate, you'll be able to make good decisions about reduction opportunities, connect your purchases and consumption to monetary savings, and compare performance across the facilities in your inventory. The registry will publish your verified report on tcrreports.org, so please log in and check that out if you haven't already. As I mentioned earlier, the goal of this webinar was to review the new policy introduced in GVP version 2.1. If you're interested in learning more about verification in general, you can find GVP version 2.1 in a summary of updates on our website. Also, I encourage you to register for our Prepare for Verification webinar that we'll be having on August 20th.